She used text messages to convince her boyfriend to take his own life. Well, today, Michelle Carter learned about the consequences of her actions. Ms. Carter, a guilty finding having entered on the indictment charging you with the involuntary manslaughter of Conrad Roy III, now sentences you to two and a half years in the Bristol County House of Correction. Now, the judge ruled that Carter would be eligible for parole after about 15 months. She was convicted of involuntary manslaughter back in June and faced up to 20 years in prison. The case became a social media spectacle because of the dozens of text messages involved in this case. And Courtney, you went back and found some of those messages and they were pretty serious. They are serious and they're hard to hear when you consider that Carter was 17, Conrad Roy just 18 when those messages were sent and received. And in the messages, she urges him to follow through on his plan to take his own life. One of the messages just look, it says, you can't think about it. You just have to do it. You said you were going to do it. Like, I don't get why you aren't. Another message, the time is right and you are ready. Just do it, babe. Prosecutors say she texted Conrad Roy as he was sitting in a truck filled with carbon monoxide gas. After he died, she texted a friend. I could have stopped him. He got out of the car. He was scared. I told him to get back in. And Courtney, prosecutors said Carter pushed Roy to commit suicide because she was desperate for attention. They say she wanted to play the role of a grieving girlfriend. Carter's lawyer said Roy was focused on killing himself and took Carter along on his journey. Today, Roy's sister and father opened up about their loss. He gave me an amazing 13 years, being my best friend and the best role model. Any little sister you could ask for. Michelle Carter exploited my son's weaknesses and used him as a pawn in her own well-being. Nancy saying his daughter was going through a tough time. The judge called the case a tragedy for two families.